Hey there, it's Thursday, August 26, 2021. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So we get to the gospel lesson today, where uh, Jesus is still interacting, shall we say, with the Pharisees, and he points out that amidst all those rules of theirs, including the foods to eat, he reminds them, and he reminds you and I uh, that it's what comes out of our heart that defiles us, not the food that goes into us. So let's jump in. Mark chapter 7, verses 14 to 23. And he, Jesus, called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him, but that the things that come out of a person are what defile him. You see, the the Pharisees, and maybe even us to some degree today, uh, maybe not with food, but in other ways, um, want to forget and deny the fact that we're we're sinful, we're even evil by nature now. Um, It's, it's, I had, uh, one time I I heard the um, analogy of sin is kind of like metastasized cancer. It's just, it's woven in, it's such a a part of our fallen humanity. Um, That's what makes us sinful. Um, The things that we do are just fruits of that. Um, the results of that sin that's in us. The old question, uh, do you sin because uh, you're sinful or is, uh, you know, do you become sinful when you sin um, or uh, do you sin because you're a sinful person? Well, it's the second, right? Um, We do these things because we're sinful human beings. Doing the things doesn't make us sinful. So this is what Jesus is addressing here and for the Pharisees for this exact uh, point here it's uh, there were certain foods that were considered clean and unclean verse uh, 17 and when he had entered the house and left the people his disciples asked him about the parable so the the disciples are going to get some more uh, information here on this and he said to them and you can hear the frustration again, again, on something I love about uh, Mark's uh, gospel. Then are you without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him, since it enters not his heart, but his stomach, uh, and is expelled? Thus he declared all foods clean, Uh, This would be crucial uh, as the Christian message would go out to non-Jewish people. Uh, It would certainly aid in that evangelism. And he said, what comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within the heart, there's the problem, right? The man of man come evil thoughts. And now he lists them, and the first six are are plural, they're behaviors, and these are sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, and now he he switches. Oh, yeah, uh, coveting, weakness, deceit, and now he goes to single attitudes, uh, and these become these become single again. Um, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. So we go from behaviors to attitudes here. 
And uh, again, a, a reminder to you and me that uh, simply changing our behaviors isn't going to save us. We need Christ and Christ alone, who, through baptism and his word, works in us a new heart, a new life. Let's continue. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That God who died for your sinfulness and rose again, to now give you a new heart and a new life that is eternal. Rejoice in that good news today. Have a great one.